You are the first one to write. The first one, yeah. Every week, this restaurant is full of hopeful singles, all looking for love. Hi, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm fantastic. Good, I'm here to see Donato. You're the first one. Oh, brilliant, OK. All the first daters have to go on is their partner's name, job title and a photo. Can I get a mojito, please? My mum's advice to me when I go on dates includes no swearing, uh, don't wear too much makeup. Don't go dress like a tart. Thank you very much. Sure. Cheers. I'm not going to go to a first date with my tits hanging out. I'm sorry. It's not happening. I have got a pair, but I'm not going to get them out on the first date. <laughs> hey, it's, awesome. it's a 10 date rule. Obviously, I'm not going to sleep with you until after the 10 dates because, well, I'm not a whore. <laughs> First few minutes are definitely very important. You get those little butterflies, you get a little tingle in your willy. Thank you. Police community support officer Larisha is looking for that special someone. You can have a good relationship, but without sex, it just becomes any typical relationship like how you would with your mum or your friend. Hiya. Sex is what keeps it going, it's what keeps the passion alive. It keeps the spark and the fire just floating. I definitely think you need sex. It has to be good as well. Larisha's date is 35-year-old DJ Terry. He's hoping it's going to be third time lucky in the first date's restaurant. I don't know what it is, I just feel confident about this one. I think she's gonna be the one, this girl. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Terry. Terry. Good to see Larisha. You'll be charging me rent here soon, won't you? Last chance for you, pal. Thank you. Hey. Nice to meet you, Trouble. You and right? you. I'm good. I'm Terry. Nice to meet you. Me. You all right? Yeah. Oh, you smell good. Thank you. That's what the start, isn't it? <laughs> um, it's in the action. It smells nice. It smells good. You blame me away. I didn't know you was going to be this hot. Thanks. Well, cheers, Angel. Cheers. Cheers. It's all right. What's your ideal guy? I bet you like sort of Italian-looking stubble, a bit rough around the edges. No, see, I like uh, men and women. Like men, yeah, women. it just and who tickles me really. Obviously, the woman has to be hot, really hot, like feminine. <laughs> You're right, little one, aren't you? Yeah, a little I love bit. It. So, what made you get your hands tattooed? I don't know. Oh, Jesus, really? That's got to go. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hey, what's your name? Abby. You are the first one to arrive. Would you like to follow me? 25-year-old account manager Abby. Hiya. Can I get a strawberry bellini, please? Of course you may. Thank you. Has travelled from Bournemouth for her date. She's meeting 22-year-old property manager Rajan, another hopeful data, back for a third date. I'm looking forward to my next date. Hopefully it will be different, a different kind of girl, a different kind of style, a different kind of game, different kind of approach, and hopefully I can fall in love this time. Hi there. How are you? How are you doing? I'm here for Abigail. Fantastic. Hopefully it'll be third time so lucky. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, hi, how are you doing? How are you? Oh, wow. <laughs> Ain't you lovely? Oh, I got an oh, wow. Oh. OK, so, like, I've got two questions for you. Uh, wow, OK. Question number one. Yeah. What kind of qualities do you look for in a guy? Oh, my god, you're like straight in there. And question like, number two. Whoa. Question number two, do you think I have those qualities? Oh, well, I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't dated you yet. Have you ever been on an awkward date? Yeah. 
What's that like? What do you mean, what's that like? Surely you've been on an awkward date. I've never actually had an awkward date. You've never had an awkward date? I anchor the date, so if she's not talking, I talk. I think I'm a bit like you, then, in a weird way. So if they're not talking, I'll talk. Would there be a second date? Probably not. Oh. Would there be a second date with me? There's still plenty yeah. of time for you to mess us up yet. Oh. <laughs> oh. What else have you got pissed? Is that it? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> really? Really? Why? A World Cup when I went. Know what? I think I'm going to get my dick pierced today. <laughs> Are you going to have a start? -up? No, no. I'll tell you, the steak is good if you're liking me. <laughs> what are you looking at having? I'm not 100% sure. Uh... Man or woman? Because <laughs> <laughs> I have both. <laughs> Because I have, like, a woman for starters and a man for, like, main. <laughs> I get approached quite a lot when I'm at work, but that's just a bit off-putting. That's just because I'm in uniform, so... That's not really flattering, really. <laughs> like, can you handcuff me? Can you strip-search me? I'll strip naked here for you if you want me to. And they'll start taking off their shoes. Being with a woman's made me realise what men go through. Yeah. Like, it's I'm good like, that you see <laughs> And women are hard work. Hard. Wow. <laughs> Since being with a woman, fucking hell, like... It can be worse I than give men. It, I give it up. Yeah. I give it up to men. I don't know how you, like... I don't know how you guys do it. Wow. You talking about the waiter or the food? Thank you. I do. I talk about the. I talk about the food. I was talking about the waiter. No, I'm only joking. Oh. <laughs> I, I love a girl that dresses up in lingerie. I, I, I don't want you to get in the strong way. I'm talking about from the sex aspect, from the aspect of a romantic evening with a partner. Yeah. So I love like taking a girl out. Having a good meal, like what we got right now. We go back to the house. I'll put on some Usher. Oh my with... God, stop it. Well, I'll put on some Trey songs, some Elton John maybe, and she goes go to the bedroom, just is up in lingerie, and we have a, wow. great, okay. have a great, we have a great evening. I like that. <laughs> okay. Are you a fan of that evening? That type of evening? Are you? Uh, I, I guess, yeah. Uh, maybe miss out the cheesy Usher bit. Trey songs? I don't even know what that is. Okay, One Direction? <laughs> If I, you know, had my way, I would go back to how it used to be in, like, Pride and Prejudice days when, you know, you could go to a dance and that was the first time you ever, you know, sort of touched that, that boy's hand. Did you ever kiss on a first date? No. Second date? Yeah. Can we make this first into a second date so we can kiss? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you've still got some wooing to do. Oh, I've got to wooing you some more, right? <laughs> <I'm> an... <laughs> Everyone in this restaurant is single and on a first date. Anyway, cheers. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I am, actually. Terry and Larisha are half an hour into theirs and they still haven't ordered. So have you thought, actually, about the food? Because I, I can't concentrate. I can't, I can't. I can't, actually. Are you going to have a star? Do you think you're going to have a star? No, no. Chicken can be a bit dry now and again. I can't take you seriously right now. No, it is. No. We're talking about food and all I'm thinking no, about. I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm talking about food. I'm not being. But it's my mind. I'm not being Phil. Just like sex, 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 sex. You don't know. You do not want to know what's going on right now, and I can't even explain it. I don't know what it is, but I like when you look at me with them eyes, I get like this weird little tingling feeling in my willy. Anyway. Anyways, yeah. Moving on. Afternoon. Hello there. How are you? I could be worse. Would you like to follow me? Yeah, thank you. Take 
it. Thank you very much. Hello there. Hello there. Time to drink? Damn right. This is a medical emergency. I need a PIMS. Half lemonade and half soda water. Yep, no worries. And not too much of a rainforest in there. No worries. Thank you very much. If I'm stood up, will you be my date? Definitely. Ed from High Wycombe has spent most of his life single. In his quest to find a partner, he spent more than £10,000 on dating. In the modern-day dating world, there's a brief window of an of a introduction. It's almost you've got 15 minutes to sell yourself in an interview, and I do not interview very well. There's no date. This is a wind-up. Divorcee Dawn has travelled from Chelmsford for her first date. My relationship history has been a bit of a roller coaster. Been cheated upon four times. I want a man who's going to treat me right this time, and he's got to be out there somewhere. Somewhere. I don't care where I go. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Um, I'm Dawn. I'm here to meet Ed. You must be Dawn. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. So I must be Ed. Join me. Thank you. I've, I've started without you. OK, no worries. Well, this is an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you work as? I work as an MOT inspector and service cars. That must be an interesting job being an MOT inspector. No, it's, it's pretty boring. Is it really? Eight hours under a car all day. No. And I think you work in a hospital? Oh, I work, yeah. I'm an administration assistant. Which hospital. one? You don't want to tell me? No, I don't really say what hospital I work in. I but, say, what, in yeah. case I stalk you? <laughs> if you stalk me. <laughs> right, listen, I need to go to the toilet. Yep. You went there. I'll go to the toilet. Don't mind. Um, it's going really well, actually. Well, I think it's going really well. Yeah, he's really sweet. Anyway, listen, I better get back to him. He wonder where I've gone. I think I'm doing number twos in the toilet. <laughs> All right, honey, see you later. Bye. <laughs> They're taking it? Yep. Change. We'll tip them. We'll, we'll treat them. <laughs> Do you like that? Thank you, bye. He enjoyed himself. Yeah, me too, but what do you think? See each other again, keep in yeah. contact. Yeah, definitely. No, I went all right. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, yeah, good laugh. Yeah. I think we're on the same wavelength. Definitely. Good match. Two. I'm just wondering where our waiter is for our, um, our dinner. Oh, I thought... Yeah, when you're ready. Fantastic. I've got his attention. So how do you spend your Christmases, then? Normally not in England. Oh, really? What's the point? No kids. No wife. Not a lot of point in staying here. No. Go away. You're full of joy. Pardon? You're full of joy. I'm a miserable bastard, yeah, yeah. Have you still got parents? Well, one of them's gone, uh, but my mother is alive and kicking. Brothers and sisters, do you have a large family? Well, I've got a kind of slightly disjointed family because they, they you know... They, they... It's quite common now, isn't it? We came up... I don't know if you... Well, I'm a bit older than you, but we came up in a generation where all the ads showed everybody happy, you know, yeah. 2.5 families and... Everyone had a mum and dad, but reality, no, it's not, it's not that way. <laughs> the, the fact that I, I come from a broken home and my parents went separate ways and I spent some time in, in children's homes and in foster care, you're kind of used to things being, you know, taken away from you. You know, I, will, I would be with some foster people for a certain amount of time and then I'd go somewhere else. 
I think that might have it, it, it had some kind of effect on my relationships. But are, are, are you optimistic about, you know, the future? Yeah, I'm always optimistic. I have quite a good outlook, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to be, though. I think generally women tend to be more optimistic than men, you know? It's one of those many intrinsic differences between us. And, and for example, you know, I would guess a woman would still make, make a bit of an effort with an appearance, whereas a bloke will go, no, I don't have to shave anymore, so I won't. Do you have to shave your ears? My ears? Yeah. Do they need shaving? That one does. That one doesn't. OK. Just, just, I'm not being offensive. Hey, I need, I need all the help I can get. Yeah, well, this is what happens when you get to my age. Your, eyes, <laughs> your, eyes, your eyesight starts going. <laughs> Well, there's the thing there. I'm going to ask you this. OK. Let me finish eating this bit here. It's quite nice. <laughs> I'm nearly there. to play footsie underneath the table. No. So if I grabbed your leg like... Oh my God, don't do that! <laughs> Not on the first date. Don't be inappropriate. Behave, please. I like it when girls tell me to behave. Yeah, well, I'm telling you to behave. So it's behave. like you're my teacher, right, and I'm in detention. Stop making it into some weird sexual thing. <laughs> don't <laughs> need to behave. Wait, how is that sexual? Don't push it. I'm not pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy this date? I have, actually. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you rate it? Like, like a seven or an eight. Wait, what? Why not a nine or a ten? <laughs> well, you've got to, have, got to leave somewhere to go. You can't, like, go straight in for a ten. But the question is, where are we going to go from there? <laughs> I can't answer that question. Oh. Can you see me and you on a second date? Um... At this moment in time, I would say I see you as a friend. So you just see us as friends? Yeah, okay. you, so, so we'll just leave it as it was a good date and that's it. Okay. Dating and friendship is two separate things. I'm not on the date to find a uh, to, to, to find a friend. I'm on the date to find a romantic connection, to find a possible partner, a future wife. It's all going so well, and now you hate me. Why would I hate you? Because I said I only want to be a friend. No, but, but and you'll say I don't need friends. No, no, but wait, but wait, but I'm how do you? Girl, I'm a girlfriend. No, but how do you know I want to be with you? I don't. I just think all of a sudden you've changed and become quite defensive. Hello again. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Not too bad, how are you? Hey. <laughs> this is very close, isn't it? Oh, this is a bit too close. You want me to move up? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Thank you very much. Take Thank care. you. Have a nice evening. Do you mean friends to later on see if there's potential for girlfriend and boyfriend, or do you mean friends as in friend zone, that's it? I think just friend zone. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. That's perfect. So where do we go from here? <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not, are we? Let's be honest. Um, no, we're not going to see no, each other again. No, we're not. So what's um, the longest relationship you've had? Longest? Like, on and off for ten years? Yeah. Where did you meet him? In the womb? <laughs> How old are you? I'm 25, so I was with him from, like, the age of 14. Like, I, yeah. I grew up a little bit. Like, I mean, he's a lovely guy, don't get me wrong. He's absolutely amazing. He's a, f he's a, he's a father of my child, so, yeah. You have a small child? <laughs> yes, I do. You've really thrown me with that. <laughs> With guys, when I mention a son, I don't know whether it's where I think, oh, they think it's too much, and whether that will just end up with, like, you know, just a few messing around and then that's it. So that's what runs through my head. What's his name? Oscar. <laughs> and I've also got to think how they would be with him as well and whether my son would get on with him. I it's a lot, it really is. Is he a good little boy? 
He's trouble. Just like his mum then. No, he is trouble. He's gonna have so many like girls like knocking on the door like with broken hearts without yeah. a doubt. My parents, they split up when I was two years old. They separated. And um, I grew up with my mum. Um, she had different boyfriends along the way. So what do you hope for the future? Someone who would come and look after him and be a dad to him? Or... I think that affects you when you're choosing your partner in your life. You know, you're worried that they're going to be gone as well and there's going to be upset with the children. But at the end of the day, you've got to, you know, sometimes you've just got to jump in, see what happens. It's a scary thought, isn't it? It's, it's his future. You've got to make sure you pick the right guy. Absolutely amazing as well, to be fair. Would you rather it was just you two? No, obviously... Is, is that the way you look at no, it? No, no, no. Like... Obviously, that we all need to get on. That needs to be the case. Um... That's cool. Yeah, are you sure? Really? Why would it be an issue? I don't know. I'm asking you. I've been single for... Nearly two and a half years now, yeah. Yeah, it feels like a long time. <laughs> My mum would love it if I ended up with, like, a gentleman, just a guy who's very traditional, you know, likes to court the lady. Unfortunately, I live in the 21st century. <laughs> Doesn't quite happen like that. Sorry, mum. 25-year-old <laughs> Londoner Kate is on her first date with 22-year-old Donato. Afternoon. How are you, Donato? Donato. Oh, you say my name better than I do. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> He's right over there, waiting for you. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. These are for you. you made it. Oh, thank you so Hi, much. These are gorgeous. Thank Thanks. you. Oh, bless. <laughs> Your accent. That's not Italian. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not American either. Uh, Canadian. Yeah, oh, she yes. got it right. She's good. Oh, She's good. Got it. <laughs> I just came here like six months ago. Just a small town kid dropped in this big, huge city. It's so different, but I love it. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers to us. I think a lot of girls can see if you're confident or not. Maybe I am a shy guy, but I like try harder. What's your normal drink of choice? Like, what would you get? Uh, you guys don't do rye here, but it's like a whiskey. It's kind of like a whiskey, I guess. I've, I worked behind a bar like once, and as soon as anyone asked me to fill a pint, I was just panicked. Because you know, guys are really fussy about the head on their beer, and I'm like, yeah. I can't give you any head because I don't have to. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in this restaurant is on a first date. Dawn's over an hour into hers. She's been single for two and a half years. I think years and years ago, I was probably quite um, a naive person. I'm talking about in my younger days, until I was cheated on then. Then it, I became quite aware of the world and how men treat women and so forth. So how's it going so far? I'm enjoying the food. <laughs> That's a diplomatic answer, OK. I'm having a nice time. Oh. I mean, I think you either feel a spark, if I'm honest, or you don't feel a spark. And is there something not bursting into flames with you? No. No. How about if we were on a desert island? Would you be interested then? Only as a friend. Now, even on a desert island, let me get this right, right? On the record. If we were on a desert island, by the inference of you're not going to be rescued for a long, quite a long time. Well, I could be your friend. You'd be more interested in the monkeys on the desert island. No. OK, what about if you'd had a few drinks, you know, if we fermented a, a coconut alcoholic drink? I'd probably sit and get drunk with you. And it would just be drunk with you. Well, this makes me think what? I'm that bad, you you're know? not bad, it's just different people's attractions, isn't it? Yeah. You would still not... That is most probably the best insult I've ever had in my life, Dawn. Because, Ed, even if you were on a desert island, 
and you were the last bloke in the world, I still wouldn't. Ed, that's not an insult. It's you have to be attracted to somebody. It's a hypothetical question anyway, because it would never happen to get insulted on a hypothetical question. In yeah, energy. but I'm only hypothetically insulted. Well then, so you're not insulted. No, hypothetically I'm insulted. So what would you prefer me to say, yes, if you was on a desert island? Yes, I would, I would. Yeah, yes. lie to me, you know, right. just tell me what I want to hear. All right, well, right. do you want me to lie to you then? Yeah, lie to me. What do you want me to say? Say you can't live without me. <laughs> 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 Go on, say it. Yeah, OK, no. Ed, if I was on a desert island, I couldn't live without you. That's fine, that's OK. OK. Now we'll change the subject totally. Look, you've spilt your drink. I don't give you? a damn. It's, it's Friday night and I've just been paid. Don't well, you, it's not. Don't, see, that's it's one Saturday. of the reasons I wouldn't find you attractive, because I don't like men that drink. Well, I'm not urinating on the floor, am I? No, I know that. I've spilt my drink. But you are getting a rather loud. Well, sometimes when I come across a, a narrow mind... You see, I'm narrow-minded. Well, I think, yeah, I think you can be a little bit narrow-minded. I think I'm mostly more flexible than you. Excuse me, can I have the bill, please? I don't want to entertain this any longer. Well, I was, I was prepared to carry on in as much as... You know, to be polite. Well, I'm not going to carry on and be polite. Well, that's, that's fine. You've actually done me a favour. Good. Because now it's getting a bit of a drag. If you're, okay. if you, if you can't accept that I, I'm not going to sit here and listen to you. Oh, all right then. My thank life you. Will... I'll pay over here. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Scale of nightmare dates, I would say this is probably tops. I've never actually walked out of a restaurant and left somebody sitting there eating their dinner. I guess you've missed me. Yeah, have you sobered up now? No. Oh, well, no, I missed you then. Here's a surprise. See you later. What a bimbo. Where it went wrong tonight, where I've had a couple of drinks and I was a bit, a bit loud. Maybe you, you, you know, maybe in your past you've had some blokes that have been like that, and so you're, you're, you're wary of that. I have, and I wouldn't, ha oh, I wouldn't well, have I, that. No, I understand your take on it now, then. I've had more fun changing the oil on my car. You know, a person can only take so much rejection in their life, you know. Yeah, and I should imagine you've had quite a bit. Could we be friends? We could be friends, yeah. Well, then I view that as a, as a, as a positive. And yeah. then in 20 years' time, you could look back on this and say, that friendship, do you remember how that started? What, when we're, we're in our little cottage somewhere and... and or we're, we're sitting on the desert island talking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this, this may not be doomed. <laughs> hey, you look fantastic, by the way. Yeah. Why are you single? I'm Any guy who would jump I'm on. I'm still young, but yeah, I've got sure. time. Um, no rush. I haven't met the right guy yet. You could be sitting across from me. You could be sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say the word hunt. <laughs> you kind of scope out the area, see who's around, and then uh, you try to lock eyes. And, that's your moment, that's your opening. So young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I usually just kind of walk up, use a cheesy, crappy line, and from there, just kind of hope my witty banta, as you guys would say, kind of works. <laughs> I like your smile, I like your eyes, actually. Thank you. Do you have a map? A what? A map. So I'm getting lost in your eyes. I think that was a nice compliment. That was a, that was a... That was like a charming compliment, I think. You're easy. You're nice and e not in a I bad meant, way. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant like you're easy to talk to. Sorry. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Oh God, we're only on starters. I wouldn't say I'm I'm one to kind of use my attributes to get what I want, but it can help on occasion. I'm gonna redo it. Well, stop doing that because I'm gonna look at something else. That's fine. <laughs> we'll clear we'll clear a pathway. This is allowed. Uh, <laughs> briefly. Well, maybe. well done for bringing them out. Like <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I can't do that. I can do this for you. Put yourself together, man. Oh, sorry, sorry. I totally lost train of thought now. That's fine. So did I. It's great. I do enjoy bedtime. I went on a date once and he just... <clears throat> he told me to, to get under the table and, like, start sniffing his shoe. 
Come, that's disgusting. Dirtiest thing I've done. Which was enjoyable as well as have a girl put her tongue around the around my starfish. I don't know if that's is that dirty or what I thought it was. It's probably not a lot to you, is it? So. No, not really. I feel cheated. I feel so. Yeah, but you get the best of both worlds. You're going to have more, aren't you? They're going to be bringing more to the table. Here's your chance to tell me. I'm the most noise moment. Is it with a man or a woman or both? I've never had both. I'd like to have both. That'd be interesting. Don't you think? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's make that happen. We could make that happen. Damn right, we could. You get a woman involved, I'm up for it. Did you just actually say that? <laughs> Play it cool, Rodney. Play it cool. You know you would. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. I would, because I'm totally attracted to you. You actually, the minute I was chatting to you, I actually got semi. And the minute you started saying, oh, I have women as well, that just dumped me. Oh, what was it? Full blown, like. That was it. I was like, <laughs> tick, 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 bomb. I was gone. Should we go? Shall we? Holy shit. We're good together, guys. Take care. Thank you. I want to trust her. I want to. She's, she melts my heart, so I want to trust her. But can I? Look, did well, he just say you look good together? Yeah, he did. Wow. Mm. How are you? I'm good. You all right? Mm hmm. Beautiful. I feel like I want to lean in for a kiss, but I can't. Are we going to see each other again? Should I think be. there's a strong possibility of that yeah. in there. did go to see a psychic person. I asked her, says, when, when's the next time I'm going to, you know? And she was like, August. Evening. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Yorkshireman Lee is back after an unsuccessful first date last week. Oh, He's meeting Aaron, who applied to date Lee after seeing him on the show. You all right? Hello. Hello, you all right? I'm good, how are you? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. A bit nervous. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, me too, sir. We're all, we're all good there. <laughs> a lot of my friends were like, don't apply, don't apply. Like, your Birmingham accent's, like, ridiculous, ridiculous. So you're going to make Birmingham look bad. <laughs> you're probably going to embarrass yourself because you're quite awkward. But when I saw Lee, I thought, I thought he seemed like a good guy, like, quite funny and uh, up for a bit of a laugh. Mm. What do you do? Um, I work for men's tailorers. It's what, sorry? A men's tailor is. Are you, like, the man who measures all the, like... <laughs> Are you asking me to measure your inside leg? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit soon for that, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, um... Guys, your table is ready. Would you like to follow me? Oh, yeah. yeah thanks. Thanks. very much. You look a bit like Rio Ferdinand. Has anyone ever told you that? Yeah. I've time. only just realised. I don't think he's not sucky. Yeah. I, I hate it when people say I look like him. He's all right. He's no special. Thanks. I know what you mean. Have you got any access? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just one. I've only ever been in one serious relationship. So. What about you? Well, I had an ex, right, and I lived with him. I worked in Benidorm for a while and I lived with him. And then I got up one morning and he'd gone. What? Yeah. He'd moved to America. And... What? And just... just he's now Aladdin. He's now what? Aladdin in Disneyland. 
Oh, man. What? So, just didn't say a word and just got oh, pissed off? What did, how, how, did you, how did you go around it when you first spoke to him? What did you say? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> how long ago was that? I was 21, so I'm 24 now, so for three years. And have you been with anyone since? Or? Single for three years, and yeah? I find gay, all being gay is a bit promiscuous, and I'm not like that. I think so many gays are just <laughs> sex. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not like... I do like it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> not not going to turn it down, <laughs> is it? But, yeah, I'm, I'm not one to just go out and do it. I just can't see pie anymore. It's like one-night stands. I don't want them. I'd rather just get hammered, fall asleep in taxi at way home and rock into bed. It's been nearly a year. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't take this you anywhere. This is how I get. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Lee and Aaron are an hour and a half into their first date. Carbs. Do you not eat carbs? Of course I eat carbs. Do I look like I don't eat carbs? <laughs> <laughs> I think carbs, carbs are a staple part of your diet. You've got to have used to be really fat, mate. High fat, high fat. To be nearly 16 stone. Fuck off. Really? <laughs> At 45, you used to be 16 stone. Yeah, like a, like a bowling ball, we're like. <laughs> what can I get? Can guys? I please have the chocolate mousse? I once looked in the mirror and I thought, you look a mess. I had love handles and I had really fat face and I was just like, I don't like the way I look. And then I just decided I'm going to lose weight. Do you smoke? Yeah. Can we go for a cig? Yeah. I'm not fully happy because I don't believe that anyone is ever fully happy with the way that to look. I'm not 100% happy, but I'm the ha happiest I've ever been. I hope he does like the way I look and I hope that he really does, but he might not. If I'd have still been fatter, <laughs> <laughs> would you have applied? I think I would have been more, in, more inclined to, to not employ. See, my problem is I just like pasties and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I love a pasty. I love a good old pasty. What's your favourite thing from Greg's? <gasps> <laughs> chicken bake. <gasps> like chicken High bake. five on a chicken bake! <laughs> That's the first time anyone's ever bought me powers. Really? You're welcome. Genuinely. <laughs> I try to be a gentleman sometimes. I, I'm genuinely quite shocked, cos I was like, oh, <laughs> flowers? OK. <laughs> you know what? You're the only girl in here with flowers. I know. I'm looking for someone who's a bit of a gentleman, so someone who hasn't lost the will to open the door for a lady first. <laughs> decent bloke that doesn't mind paying you a bit of attention. <laughs> I got this gentleman's side that accidentally peeks out. I, I never meet gentlemen, so... Gentlemen with a bit of a pizzazz, should we say. Yeah, fair enough. It doesn't happen very often. But when it does... <laughs> but when it does, it's like, oh... <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> really bad, though, because what can girls get guys on a date? Blowjobs. <laughs> bad luck. It was good. It was good. We just laughed, had a good time. She was totally down to earth, exactly like what my mom would approve of. <laughs> I want to hang out with you again. I'll straight up say Seriously? it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Oh, we'll do that. You're a cool chick. I love that. You're like an angel. I'm not an angel, though. Really? No. What's tucking behind your back there? Aren't those your wings? Son of a gun, he's Son good. of a gun, he's done it he's again. Good. He's done it good. again. Oh. <laughs> Do I fancy Donato? No. <laughs> of course, I'm lying, I think. Yeah, I fancy him a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Just a smidge. Oh, you kissed my hand. Oh! <laughs> it's very good, serious. Yeah. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. How's it going? Game You've face. You've been talking shit about me. Game face. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it.
knickers, I'm going to get in her knickers, is what they would say. <laughs> <laughs> He's bloody lucky if he does. Thank you very See much. You Have a nice evening. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I keep I rubbing your boob on my arm. It's good. <laughs> She's cool, she's cool, she's fun, she gets the jokes. He's, he's Canadian. I never thought I'd get it, quite frankly. <laughs> do you but get I it do. now? I get it, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Can we sneak a kiss in yet? It's a little one. I think there is, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, can I be honest with you? Well, I'd hope you already were being honest, but yeah, carry on. Uh, I was quite shocked that someone like you applied to date me. That's a really small violin. I really sad me. story. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you think that? What do you think that? I'm really, I'm not classy at all. Nah, no me, no me at all. I just like nice kind of side, bottle of cherry Lambrini, and I'm quite, I'm Boom. quite happy me with the Saturday. That's me finished. So why did you pick me then? Because you, you I was intrigued. Be... Intrigued by what? It seemed like you seemed quite like you're up for a laugh and that. Yeah. I... Don't tell me so. I really liked your eyes. I really liked him. He was quite nice. But I am really scared that he's not gonna like me. Shit. How'd you eat a mess? It's nice. Do you want me to have a little try of your mess? Yeah, go on. It's nice. I don't know. I ain't not knowing. It's too fruity for me. It's too fruity for you. I'm not one for fruit. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, we eat. Right. <laughs> Neck the wine and go. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I, 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 I really liked you. Oh. And now you're gonna break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see me again or not? Uh, <laughs> no, sorry. No, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. I'll see you later. I didn't think you fancied me. Why? I don't know. You're cute, though, so it's all good. <laughs> Six weeks ago, the first date's restaurant opened. Since then, 340 singles have been through the doors. <laughs> Your name is? It's Marcus. My name's Lucinda. Your name it's Mr. Davis. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm going to be your mystery man for tonight. <laughs> oh, my God, my first flowers for a man. <laughs> you got big one. <laughs> Not everyone found love. What's the matter with you? Where's the nearest Marks and Spencers to you? Is it going well? Yes, yours. It's a first date. End it at that. But some singles... the mm. ...left as couples. That's the most adorable thing I think a man's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to get a bit close to you? You have to promise me you'll come to Leeds and try it. Promise. Yeah? A pinky promise. Oh, all right, we'll see that. <laughs> I always keep my pinky. Right, okay. <laughs> see you then. <laughs> What's the sexual chemistry between me and you? I can tell you want me, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 